Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jaira and what I do here on YouTube is explore brands, products, makeup that work best for olive skin. So if that's you and you want to save time and money experimenting with olive skin because from my experience it's been such a struggle and there's no, there's not enough resources out there to know the products that work best. And since it's January, I'm so excited to do my top foundations that I've found, top brands, foundations, makeup that I've found this year. Um, last year, if you haven't seen it, you can take a look at it. I did my top five foundations and they were, they're still amazing, but this is just like the new batch of new brands that I found last year, not this year, because <laughs> 2021. So I found it in 2020 and my other video was in 2019. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. It's gonna be quick. Um, I'm just gonna be linking my reviews for each foundations if you really wanna know more details about uh, the foundation themselves. So the very first uh, brand that I wanted to share with you, which I absolutely love. So by the way, this is in no order they're just in random orders but is rare beauty by selena gomez so this is it here uh i'm gonna link my review for this foundation up there but this is probably my favorite for more of like a natural lightweight uh, makeup but it has that semi I, I think it's semi, it's not matte, it's not super radiant, but it's just the enough amount that you want because it has that natural um, color to it. I have it in 230N, which is, I think it's a neutral olive in her website. It's called Neutral Olive, but it's a perfect match for me. And I said in that video, it is probably the most accurate match for my skin where I didn't really have to blend it too much because it's bought on. So that's the first foundation I wanted to share with you. The next foundation um, is by Joe Blasco, which is this one here. A lot of you have probably seen it because um, Kim Kardashian did do a review on this foundation itself. I'm going to link my old review on it too. Um, I updated my color from the video because the first color I got in that video was a little too light and it didn't match too well. So um, I kind of mixed these two, uh, which they're pretty similar, which is Warm Olive 3 and Summer Tone. I'm going to list all my colors in the foundation down there so it's easy for you guys to find it. But yeah, this one, if you you're looking for glamorous, super flawless, airbrushed, full coverage, this is it. Um, I think it's used for uh, studio makeup, so your makeup is meant to last long uh, throughout the day, and I could wear it and it just looks exactly the same as I wear it, but if you're not into heavy makeup, this might not be for you like for me i'm more of a natural makeup person but i love it when i go like have a night out when i go to galas and yeah it's pretty fun so the next product i wanted to share with you that i love as well is nars radiant longwear foundation um a lot of you have probably heard of it already but um i in my video again i'm gonna link my review up there it took me forever to look for my match for this brand because they're all too yellow and then um i actually was featured in an article uh last year which is um a, a bunch of i guess makeup artists and you know for me brand explorers for olive skin because i guess the makeup industry has been noticing a gap there i'm gonna link that article down there too and one of the uh ladies there actually recommended nars stromboli which is um the shade I have and I decided to give it a try and it is the perfect match for me. So this is, uh, this NARS one is I guess medium to very, very full coverage. It's more of like that radiant glowy type of foundation. So if that's kind of your jam, that might be the foundation for you. So um, I know last year I did top five foundation, but I just found so much. So that I'm going to have six foundations in here. So the next uh, fourth foundation that I found that I really want to share with you is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. Um, this one, what I love about it is the color match for sure. They have a warm olive uh, line where it goes from light to dark. Uh, for me, I'm in... 
three W O, so warm olive three three warm olive. Uh, but the only cons that I don't like about this is like uh, this has been my complaint about Dior is that the fragrance is way too strong. Uh, I'm more for like the very light scent or no scent at all. If um that's my pre preference, but that's just a preference for those of you. But it's like it's something I could tolerate. But if I was to choose, I really wish that it didn't smell like that strong old lady perfume but other than that the color is perfect it's medium to full coverage i'm gonna link my review up there again so yes and the next one i haven't done a review on this but i'm gonna be doing a separate video if you guys want but the next foundation i wanted to show was the airbrush flawless foundation by charlotte tilbury um this is probably one of my favorites so far i'm wearing it right now so if you're wondering yeah, this is the color, and it's perfect coverage for just for everyday makeup, and I'm in a 7.5 neutral. But this is my winter shade. I'm still struggling to look for my summer shade in this brand, but if I do find it, I'm going to probably make a video and keep you updated. But this, again, the name says it all, airbrush, flawless finish. I A little goes a long way. Um, I probably just wear, right now I'm wearing just one layer, and it's probably uh, the perfect color for me too so I, that's my favorite so far and the last but not the least I wanted to share with you I also have not done a video on this but I will do a separate video just to help you uh, also what it's like to choose shades for this brand um, you probably heard, heard of it is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation there we go. So this one I was super confused when I was choosing um, my shade because it's just a lot of shade and you would think the 0 0.50s would go from light to dark but actually their chart goes different so for me in the winter I'm a shade 4 in this brand or foundation which I wore on my wedding day and it's flawless I love it it gives that nice natural luminous um, uh, feel to it but uh, right now I'm in a shade 6 because my skin's a little darker in the summer so if you are looking for the summer shade um, I think I've watched Audrey Coyne's video she's also the same shade she's shade 4 in the winter and, and uh, shade 6 in the summer so yes if you're looking for another foundation that's like a night out that's a foundation for you so that's basically the top 6 foundation that I have if you have any questions leave your com comments and questions below uh, I would love to answer and hear your thoughts if you've tried this foundations and hopefully this video helped don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in